right, let's do this. Power strength, this is 50 minutes. I am Courtney, your coach today. You need just a set of weights today, a mat or something to go down on the floor on, something soft so you don't hurt your back. A water bottle because we will get thirsty, we will get sweaty. We're gonna be doing mostly strength with cardio bursts in between as always. Let's warm up. Twists, two regular, two with a reach. Here we go. Right away. You start to feel, are you sore? Are you not? I am so sore today, everybody. I filmed workouts yesterday, specifically making them low impact workouts because I've been having a calf strain lately, which I still have, so we'll see how this one goes. But I did low impact yesterday, but they were not low intensity, that's for sure. I am super sore, 10 seconds. Going into a swing to a squat lift. Coming up in five, three, two, swing it. Lift on up. Push that booty back on that swing. Bend those knees way down. All the way up to your toes, reaching overhead, arms straight up. Just a little higher on those toes now. 22 seconds left here. Going into a right side lunge to a knee lift. Staying on the right. Staying on the right. In 12. So one of the workouts I did was a kickbox with light weights. Whew, three, two, right side lunge. Lift that knee, lift that arm up too. Yeah, just those little two pound weights that I use. They make such a difference. Just my whole upper body is so sore today. All right, push that booty back, get a little lower. Outside leg is bent. Then you push off of it, feeling your quad working, your adductor inner thigh working. We have 12 seconds. We're not just going straight to the other side. We will do that, but first we're gonna do Hamstring sweep to a reverse lunge. In three, two, one, let's go. Sweep it, lunge it back. Great, big step back. Drop that knee way down there. Heart rate's coming up just a bit. So happy you've joined me live here, motivating me, pumping me up. Love seeing you out there on the camera. 15 seconds, sweating together. Now we will be heading to the left side, lunge to the knee in five, three, two, side lunge, let's go, reach. Chest is up, chest is up. If you can't keep your chest up, don't worry about touching the floor. I'd rather have you keep that chest up than kind of bring it down. There you go. You look amazing already. Love that energy. 15 seconds here. Heading to the floor. Inchworming our hands out to a lunge twist. Coming up, five, three, two, inchworm out. Lunge twist. And then walk your hands right back in. Walk them back out, twist other side. Warming up our shoulders. Engage those abs. Keeping that tummy locked in. 20 seconds. So as always, five exercises of strength, followed by a cardio burst. Two exercises in a row with no break. Four, three, 
downward dog, push back to down dog. Come into a plank push up. <laughs> downward dog, let's kick one leg up. Come on into a plank push up. You can drop to your knees if you'd like. Alternate the sides on that leg kick up if you're doing it. Great work. Just breathing. Nice and easy. 10 seconds. We're just getting loose right now. What do we got? Walk ups with a knee lift in two. One, drop to your knees. Walk on up, knee lift. You can just stand up and do squats. Squat to a knee lift if you don't want to go up and down. Or you can use a wall for support, for balance. Controlling yourself on the way down so you don't bang your knees. 13 seconds, coming up, jacks. One reach, one elbow. Great. Four, three, two, jacks. One up, one out. Hup. Low impact looks like this. Go. Let's move our bodies. Testing out that calf. So far, so good. I have this calf issue that comes and goes regularly. Usually when I'm running a lot, that's when it comes. 12 seconds. Coming up. Two twists, to two knee hops. In five, three, two. Two twists, two knee hops. Great, try to keep those feet together on the twists. As always, if you want low impact, just take the jump out. You can still move your body, you can still do cardio, get your heart rate up, taking that jump out. We have 20 seconds left of our warm up. Do what you need to do to get your body ready. Great work. 10. Five. Two. Rest it. How do we do? You ready to go? You ready to rock this, brush this workout? Let's get some water, walk it around. Make sure you have everything. We have still 30 seconds till we start. Take a moment, catch your breath for a second. This will be our longest break of the class. Starting with just one weight behind you, tricep push, just pushing it back. We still have 10 seconds, so grab that weight, get yourself ready, mentally, physically. Three, two, here we go, push it back. Working our triceps, working our rear delts, which of course, kickboxing always makes mine so sore. <laughs> uh, I tell you, if you wanna shred that upper body, those abs, kickboxing. <sighs> Let's go, keep pushing. Standing up tall. You are over halfway. Keep it pushing. Great way to open the workout, right? 15 seconds to go. All right, let's think. Do I have any stories to tell today? Yes, of course I do. Five seconds. Three, two. Ah! Oh my goodness. Oh, relax. Grab that other weight. Two rows to two chair lifts. So two rows coming up, drop the weight, two chair lifts. Three, 
to. Here we go. If you don't want to drop the weights, just stick to the rows. Or you can do rows for 30 seconds. I will try to tell you when it's halfway. Then you can drop them and do the chair lifts for 30 seconds. That's a great option as well. Keeping that chest up as you drop the weights and pick them back up. That chair position. Four seconds, three, two, 30 second mark. That chair position, sticking your booty out, sticking your chest out. Arms come directly overhead, pulsing up. Straight arms. We have 15. Keep going. Eight. Three. Two. Ah, rest. Oh, put those weights aside. Onto your uh, onto your right side, working your no no no. Onto your left side. Oh my goodness. Onto whatever side, okay? <laughs> Any side. We have tricep push-ups. I'm gonna start with my right. <laughs> Pushing up. Doesn't matter which side you start with. Just remember which side you're starting with, okay? <laughs> It confuses me because when you work your right tricep, you're on your left side. <sighs> Get it together, Courtney. <sighs> so it's always nice to do these at the beginning of class because if there's other people that could be listening, you might make some interesting noises once you're sweaty doing these. <sighs> 20 seconds. Although we are getting sweaty already, aren't we? Ugh. Let's try to remember what side we're on because we will be going to the other side shortly, but not yet. Five, three, two, rest. Woo. All right, I'm gonna stay on this side and in my right hand, which looks like your left, I'm doing a row to an oblique pull up. Here we go. Two, one. Row it. So your feet swivel, you twist at the end of your row. Row and twist and then push that weight up. Twisting back to center. You, your wrist and your shoulder should be in line. It should be a straight line going from your shoulder down to your hand at the ground. So you're swiveling your feet, swiveling your hips, 10 seconds, we will hold the side and lift the hips. Really working those obliques, you ready? In four, three, two, hold to the side, lift those hips. You can keep your feet staggered or you can stack them, either way, just lift those hips. There you go, you feel those obliques working, right? Or just the one side. Eight, four, Two. Yeah, rest. Woo! All right. Other side. Tricep push up. Then we have cardio in between before we head to the other row. Here we go. Three, two. Let's go. So that other hand is sort of just hanging out, just kind of flopping around. It's a little bit of a weird, awkward position. If you want more, try not to let your shoulder touch the ground. Great. Keep pushing. Really think about that hand pushing into the floor. That is what's pushing you up. Pushing your shoulder up off the ground. If it hurts your hip, you can always put a little something extra under there for cushion. But we only have 16 seconds left, so keep going. Ooh, come on. A few more. Five. Let's go, Zach. Three. Two. Ah, rest. Come on up. Come on up. We got cardio. Two exercises in a row, a single leg jump. Run back in four, three, two. 
Here we go. Alternating sides. Big jump forward. Let's go. Big bend in that front leg. You should feel a lot of pressure in your quad. Come on. Getting stronger right here. Heart, muscles. 16 seconds coming up. Fast feet to touch. Fast feet for four. Open up your legs, touch the floor in seven. Right into it. Three, two, fast feet, touch, fast feet, boom. Keep that chest up, keep that head up. I wanna see a beautiful face. Great, Alma. 30 seconds. Get those feet moving a little faster. Go, go. 18. Come on, smack that floor. Get your whole hand down there. Eight. Three. Two. Rest it. 30 seconds rest. Boom. Way to hit that first set. Drink some water. Row to twist. One weight, other side. 12 seconds. Bring it down, get ready. Remember what side you were on? Good. Here we go, four. Two. Let's go, row and swivel. Push it up. Now you can always stand up and just do rows with one arm if you'd like. This is too much. You can also put a knee down. I should have said that on the other side. Sorry, guys. Whoops. Sometimes I forget. I try to give modifications when I can. But if you stick with me, keep doing these classes, you will definitely learn all the ways to modify. You won't even need me anymore. Five seconds. Three, two, Bring it up, pulse it up. Pulse those hips. Working that oblique. The oblique that's facing the floor is the one that's working. In case you weren't sure. Seven seconds, let's go. Three, two. Boom, you did it. Woo woo! All right, both weights. Heavy weights if you got them. Heavy weights if you got them. Goblin squat to press. So goblin squat, toes are out, legs are wider. Two, one, drop your booty all the way down. Tuck it under, then bring it up. Press up, all the way down. If this is too much, just do a regular squat. Great way to open up our hips. Also working a little more of those outer glute muscles. We're here the whole minute. So in our house, towards the end of 2023, we were doing, our kids, we have three boys, we're doing a lot more video games. A ton more. Way too much, way too much on the weekends. Not during the week, but on the weekends, it was out of control. So I have decided to rein it in. Eight seconds. And I will tell you more in a minute. Four, two, rest it. Now, if that wasn't tough next time when I say heavy weights, try to grab heavier, heavier weights. All right, biceps. Two bicep curls, then we stop at the bottom, I mean at the halfway, and do two serves. Two, one, let's go. Two bicep curls, two serves. Bringing your hands all, or your arms all the way to straight, on that bicep curl that you come all the way down, then back up. So, I have to say that the kids doing videos, I, I mean, it's, it's nice for parents. It's nice for parents, I tell you. 
you can get all your stuff done. I work a lot on the weekends, so I would get a lot of stuff done while they were doing videos. No one would bother me. 25 seconds, we keep going all the way with this. It was great, but of course I knew it wasn't great for them, their development, all that. So I've decided to put them on a strict schedule, 10 seconds, and uh, it's been tough. It's been tough. <laughs> Three, two, ah, oh, drop one weight, woo! All right, right leg lunging, left arm holding the weights. So lunging to the side and then to the front. Three, two, here we go, here we go. Big step out, drop that booty. Yeah, it's been, we've only had so far one weekend of this strict schedule and uh, nobody knows what to do with themselves. So they're just bugging me all day long. All the work's gone out the window. All that great work I was doing before. Now, if you want, you can stay here or you can jump into that front lunge like this. Up to you, your choice. 20 seconds. Heart rate's coming up if you're jumping a little bit. We've got 10. Four. Two. Oh, that leg. Woo, it burns. Way to go. All right, grab that other weight. Coming down into a deep squat, if you can, or a regular squat. Two bicep hammers. Three, two, coming out to push up. Let's go. Digging your elbows into your thighs. If you can't do the squat, like I said, you can do a regular, a regular squat, just like this, and then come down, step out or jump out to a push-up. Let's go. Once again, a little bit of a cardio mixed with weights move here. We have 25 seconds left. Great work. Real cardio is coming up next. Let's go. 10 seconds, get in one or two more sets. Three, two, rest. Set those weights to the side. Woo! Scissor, scissor, touch. Exercise one of two. Scissor, scissor, touch in three, two. Let's go. So turn and touch. Just like, kind of like the fast beat before, trying to get that hand on the ground. Let's go for it, Kirby. Our next cardio exercise is down mountain climbers to plank jacks. Let's go. 15. Get ready. Quick transition to mountain climbers coming up. Three, two, let's go, climb it. Jacks, climb it. <laughs> it's so funny now that I'm breathing hard. This has never happened in the history of these workouts, but I can smell a skunk coming right through the air from the fireplace behind me. <laughs> skunk is on the loose somewhere in the neighborhood. 15 seconds to go. Come on, drive those knees. Use your abs, pull your knees in. Five, three, let them rest, you did it. <sighs> Bring yourself up, grab water, walk it around. You're rocking it. 
two cardios down, just like that. Okay, 15 seconds, one weight. Into your right hand, into your right hand, left leg working. Side lunge, front lunge. Two, one, let's see here. I think I already did this side. <laughs> I can't remember, that's okay. You know what, it's gotta be the pants. I swear last time I wore these pants in a workout, yeah, I, di I didn't do this side, thank goodness, but last time I wore these pants in a workout, I did the same side twice. They're cursed. Now, if you want, you can add that jump if you'd like, your choice. If you did it on the other side, try to do it on this side too, just to make yourself even. Let's go. 12. Come on, down deep in that leg. Challenge your body. Two, one, boom. All right, grab that other weight. Hammer curls, single hammer curls, or you can do double. Here we go. Ready, Mickey? Three, two, let's curl it up. Depending on the size of your weights, your pace. You can go faster if they're light, slower if they're heavy. So, back to the video games. I think it's going to be weeks, or it could be months, of a transition over here to try to get these kids to think about other things when they have free time. That's my goal. Try to get them in interested in other things. Like my middle son, who's a great artist, never does art because he's been too obsessed with the videos. So just things like that, you know? But I have to say it's hard. I'm gonna stick with it, but it's tough because, you know, it gives us as parents such great free time. Five seconds. Okay, fun push-ups coming up. Bring it down. All right, twist to the right, which means your left arm is up. We're twisting to the right, bringing that knee under us. Sort of a twisting that knee and pushing up. Here we go. Give it a try. It might look kind of crazy, but it's really not. It's really kind of fun. Unless you have a really uh, tricky shoulder, you can do these. And if not, always know that push-ups on your knees is just fine. Great work. I love that power I see. Those bulging muscles, amazing. 20 seconds to go. How many more sets can you do? If you're banging your knee on the floor, it's because you need to twist that knee in toward the side. Five seconds. Three, two, rest it. All right, on your back. Oh, this is a fun one. Inner thighs and hip flexors. Adductor pulses. Legs straight up, straight up and over those hips. Feet are flexed, toes are pointing out, and just pulse. Chest pulse. Try to keep your legs straight up over your hips. That is right there in itself a challenge. If you're down here, that's totally okay. Just we're just working toward getting those legs up, lengthening them up. Now everybody, bring your legs out further. Keep pulsing. Bring those legs out as far as you can and keep pulsing. Keep pulsing. Toes are out. You're working your inner thighs here and your hip flexors and your abs to keep those legs up. Bring those legs halfway in. 15 seconds to go. Keep going. How do you like this one? Loving it. 
Bring those legs all the way back to center. Five seconds. Three, two. Ah, rest. Bring your knees in. Woo, does it burn or what? <laughs> all right, onto your right hand. Once again, I'm going to tell you this time, you can drop the knee. We are threading to two hip pulses. Here we go. Thread. Two hip pulses. Challenge yourself. Come up with me. Come up onto that hand. You can do this. You can hold your body up. Try to stack your feet one on top of another. If you can't, you can stagger your feet for a little more stability. And then as you get more comfortable, you can try to stack them one on top of another and challenge your balance. Once again, we will pulse the hips, giving those obliques a working today. In four, three, two, pulse them up, pulse them up. Here we go. Oh yeah. It's the care. Keep going, hold yourself up. 10 seconds, that's it. You can do this. You are so strong, so tough. Three, two, one, done. Woo! Yes, come on up, cardio. Oh, how is that oblique? Wow. Kick taps. You can do this low impact or with a little hop. Two, one, let's go, front kicks. Kicks do not have to be high, just have to be powerful, powerful. Good. All right, let's talk about what's next. So we can think about it. High knees to ankle touches. I want your knees so high, they've never been that high before. Knees have to be high in order to touch those ankles. Coming up, 10 seconds. Here we go. Four, two, get those knees up there, ankles. Try to touch your ankle each time. Can you do it? Let's come in. Come on, Donna, go for it. You got it. Just about 20 seconds. Come on, knees higher. Get your knees higher than mine. 10. Five. Two. Rest. Oh, how awful is that? That exercise is so tough for me. You did it though. Amazing. All right. Push ups. 15 seconds. Other side. Right arm up, twisting to the left. Are you ready? Yes, you are. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. I think this is it. Let's go. I'll double check the exercise in a second. But we're committing to this one. No matter what, this is the right one. Yay! So once again, bringing that knee, not straight down, but twisting across your body in order to get it out of the way to drop your push-up. Great, you got it. See, you're an expert now. 20 seconds. Here we go. Couple more rounds. Eight. Two. One. You did it. Woo! All right. On to that left side. Left side thread to pulse. You ready? Two, one, let's go. Hopefully you know your modifications. 
Now why I plan this right after the push-up, don't ask me. <laughs> We're really challenging our arm now. <laughs> you got this though. You are mentally strong to handle anything I give you, right? So fierce, so tough. 10 seconds till we hold the hips. Woo. Three, two, hold it up, hold those hips, let's go. 20 seconds on. All right, settle in. You can make it to the end, I know you can. Let's go. Five, three, two, oh, rest. Yes. Oh, that was so tough. After the push up, why? Why? All right, grab your weights coming up. Right leg comes up to a deadlift. And then pulling that leg through. Two, one, let's go. Pulling that leg through. Try one or two just like this. Then, if you'd like, you can bend the knee, going into a bit of a pistol type squat. This is for you, Michelle. Now, I do sort of like a half pistol myself because I can't go all the way down. I'm not that skilled like you. <laughs> but even a little bend is great. Plus, we are working on your balancing skills mad balancing skills right here. Also working that hamstring, keeping your shoulders back and down as you come into that deadlift. Eight seconds. Four. Two. Rest. Woo, how'd you do? Ah, oh, all right, on our backs. This time. We are swimming our feet, not pulsing, but swimming. Toes are flexed, they're pushing out, then they're pushing in. Here we go, let's swim it. Just like we're swimming right through that water, cutting through with our toes, trying to keep our legs up and over. You're gonna be ready for anything today after this, right? You're gonna be so energized, so powered up. Ready to get out there and do anything. Crush it at work, stand up to your colleagues, whatever it is. <laughs> Tell someone how you feel about them. 15 seconds. Come on, keep swimming. Keep it going. Almost there, seven. Embrace that burn. Three, two, ah, rest. Woo! All right, what do we got here? Dead bug, left side. We will get to that other side, the deadlift. I was just checking. <laughs> Dead bug, here we go, come up. Resist against your legs and then just, I said right, I said left, I meant right. Right arm, right leg, come out. You can do left if you'd like. That's what I'm doing, you can match me. Make sure you resist against those legs. Also, be careful not to bring your legs too far in. A lot of people bring them in, this is kind of a rest. Keep them out, tabletop position. Also, another form check here. Keeping your lower back on the floor. You can do these all with your head on the floor if it's too much for your neck. Resisting against those legs. 20 seconds to go. You got it, Steve. Breathing, exhaling on the way out. Five seconds, that's it. Get one more in. Two, one. Yes. All right. We have. Cardio, oh my gosh, it's our last cardio team. What? Knee pops, starting with the right knee, popping up and side, up and side. Two, one, let's go. With or without the hop. 
I'm gonna give myself just a tiny hop on this side because of my calf, but it's holding up really well. The main thing I want you to do is think about that knee popping up, popping up, power. All we're doing is switching to the other side. It's gonna feel so good when we do. 20 seconds. Are you ready? Come on, get that knee up a little higher. Keep it going. Seven. Four. Two. Switch it right away. Pull that knee up. We just worked those hip flexors, those adductors, those muscles to get that knee higher. Come on. Way to go, Mickey. 25 seconds. Keep it moving. Go, go. Stay with me. 12 seconds, push all the way to the end. Strong upper body, strong arms. Three, two, rest. Woo! How'd you do? You're parched, I know. I am too. Grab that water. Back to dead bug. Other side, left side, or right. Here we go. Bring it down. 10 seconds. Are you ready to finish this workout off? Me too. Three, two, up. Resist against your legs. Left arm, left leg out, or whichever side you did not do last time. Press those legs in, push those hands out. I know, it's not a traditional dead bug. It's Courtney's version. Keeping that lower back on the floor. If you're in the market, by the way, for a new mat, mine is the best, all right? Just gonna say it, it is. Yo Gorilla Mats, they know how to make mats. 20 seconds. I have it linked in the description if you wanna take a look. It's oversized, durable, thick, not too thick, non-slip. 10 seconds. Couldn't be any better. Four, three, two. You got it, rest it. Woo, all right, we got that other side for that deadlift. Couple of them bringing your legs through to the front and then we can try the bend if you're ready. Three, two, get ready to balance, here we go. Focus. Get the feeling and when you're ready, you can add that bend. You can also do this with one uh, weight, one hand and then one hand um, holding the wall or a chair for balance is an option. Yes. Looking fire. Love working on balance. For every workout, it's important to add a little bit of a balance challenge. Where are we at here, team? Eight seconds to go. Three, two, one. Yes. Set those weights down. We're back on the ground sitting. All right, you ready to be a gymnast? You never thought you'd be a gymnast until now, right? Hands forward or back. Lifting those front feet. Let's go. Lift them. Lift them. Try for 10 in a row if you can. When you're done, rest it for a second. Open your legs. Hands back or forward. Lift again. Legs open this time. Try for 10 in a row. Test. So tough, right? Feet back together. One more round. Feet together. Let's go. 
Let's go. <laughs> You've never heard me so silent, right? Cannot breathe and do these. 15 seconds to try. Open legs. Here we go. 10 more. <sighs> Let's do it. Five seconds. Keep them up. Keep them up. Two. One. <laughs> How'd you do? Did you do it? Did you lift your legs? Woo! All right, let's stand it up for our final exercise. Both weights, both feet on the ground, deadlifts, pulses, pulses. So come on down as far as you can. Here we go, pulse it up, little pulse up. Legs are slightly bent. Chest is out, booty is out. Shoulders are back and down. Now, I know you wanna get lower but keep those shoulders back. Even if you're all the way up here, you're still working your hamstrings. Everybody is at different flexibilities. Keep those shoulders back. If you feel, sometimes if you, once you get this and you feel very advanced, you can stand on a ledge and round your shoulders and come all the way down. But for now, for those of us in class, we keep our shoulders back and down. Eight seconds to the end. Four. Two. Oh, you did it. You did it, team. Set those weights down. Way to rock it. Let's cool it down. Stick with me for the cool down. Such an important part of the workout to stretch legs wide, bring that head down toward the center. And then we're just gonna walk side to side. And when you get to the side, if you want to, take that inside arm and reach it out. Just getting a little extra stretch into your back. Or you can keep it down in the center. You can keep it to one foot. Play around with it, whatever you'd like. Way to go, team. Bring that right leg forward into a lunge. Lower yourself down, sink into those hips. And if you're ready, you can come on up, bring your chest up, bringing your left arm across, pressing your shoulder down. And then bring that arm up and over to a tricep. Fantastic work today, as always. Coming into the center, shoulder presses right and left. Opening up your hips. All right, let's review, shall we? What did we miss? Did we miss any parts of the body? I don't know, probably, but I can't think of any right now. We got balance in, abs in, legs, chest. We had some fun push-ups today. Going to that other side, lunge. Come on down. And then once you're situated, your hips are sunk down. Bring that chest up, bring that arm across. Get your shoulder if you want. Absolutely fantastic work. Get that tricep. Feels good. So, are we ready? Let's think about the rest of the day. What do you have? What are you going to be ready for now? Come on down to a sitting position. Right leg out, left leg in. Reach for that foot. You're ready to get out there and do the one thing that you've been afraid to do for a while now. You're going to do it today. You're going to do it today. Whether it's talking to somebody about a topic that you've been worried about or something at work or something with your family, like, you know, taking away video games. <laughs> anyway, we switched sides. I forgot to tell you, but I switched sides. <sighs> Reaching for that other foot. <sighs> oh, man. Definitely got to work on my hips this year. That's my goal. Flip it over, let's go into downward facing dog. 
and bringing your feet, your heels down toward the floor. Bringing your hips up to the ceiling. Lifting your hips up, shoulders down, long neck. Feeling a great stretch in the back of your hamstrings all the way from your hips to your ankles. Great, walk your hands and feet in. Roll it on up, grab one foot. Let's get that quad. Either side, we will switch in about 10 seconds. Great, let's switch sides. You did it, team. Way to stick with me to the end, to the bitter end. You rocked it. Leave me a comment, let me know if you stuck with me. Let, let me know what your favorite exercise is. Let's just breathe up, reach up, and let that air go. Way to go. You absolutely destroyed this one. All right, let's stick with it. Let's get out there. Do something you're scared of. Tell me what it is, and I will see you for the next workout. Get out there and rock it. Crush the day. Way to go, team. Oh, I felt that workout went by so fast today. All right, come say hi.